When I set out to build this computer, I set a few requirements for myself just to challenge myself to make something that won't be dead in like a few years. So these main requirements were, it must be officially supported by Windows 11, no workarounds, it must get official updates, official install, everything. It must have at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Now I know that 8 gigabytes of VRAM is bare minimum nowadays, but I figured that this build is probably more so focused towards future upgradability and 8 gigabytes for this price is fine it's absolutely fine there's some people who spend 250 bucks on a gpu alone that has 8 gigabytes of vram so i'd say that this is decent must not be a dead upgrade path now i know the am4 is technically kinda a dead platform but there's still cpus being released today like the 5700 x3d for example that that literally just came out and i absolutely think they have quite an upgrade path compared to the cpu you have right now in the system so it's got a lot of life left in it. And my final requirement was must look decent. Now it's not even a necessary requirement at all, but if you know me, I like to make my computers look nice. So this was a must for me. That's about it for my requirements. So I'm going to flash an image of all the specs for you to look over if you want to. Also, if you want to see the building process for this PC, I absolutely recommend checking out my previous video. It'll be on the end screen for you to click on if you want to. So definitely give that a look. But the main thing here is, how does it perform? I played a bunch of games on it earlier, and I have footage for you ready to go. So, here you go. Alright, so we're on to the desktop. And just to confirm the specs, I will show you. So this is a CPU, the motherboard, the memory, and the graphics. I already went over the specs previously, but figured I'd just flash them real quick. Anyways, let's get on to the game. There's no real reason why I've decided to choose these games it's more so these are games that i recently played and am interested in so you know since i'm doing videos for myself i figured i might as well play the, the games i'm actually interested in so now definitely keep in mind that we are recording on the pc we're playing when i don't have a capture card of any sort so probably add about maybe five maybe at max eight fps onto what we're getting just just you know for for non-recording frame rate purposes but i wanted to commentate on on the actual gameplay while i play it rather than just have numbers up so i think it makes for a more interesting video that way now as for the the actual graphics options all i did was click the balance preset and all I did after that was enable, or I disabled vertical sync, that's what I'm doing right now. And then I enabled subsurface scattering. The only reason I enabled that is because it just, it's not really a big performance hit. And it's really, it really just makes cutscenes look a little better. But regardless, those are my settings. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do some mercenaries gameplay, nothing too crazy. I'll just get the general gist of the frame rate. So right now, right now we're sitting at right under 60 FPS. Now the great thing about that is, at some point we can enable FSR. Boom, get out of here, old lady. Bop. Bop. Boom. Ooh, ooh. Get in my face. Ah, get out of here. Now, I will say this is a very playable experience. I don't even need exactly 60 in this game to be good. I can really... I can get down with about 50. 50 is, like, probably my minimum for being competitive at this game. Because it's not, like, super high in, uh, in terms of, like, reactability and all that. I mean, you need good reactions, but... It's not like a competitive FPS where you need to have absolutely insane, you know. Ah! Bop! <laughs> Damn pig. This is a 2023 uh, AAA title. You know, it's not the newest out possible, but it is one of the... It is a pretty good looking game. I think that the 580 ran this game, and how it's, you know, how it is, it's, it's pretty nice. I have no issues with it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try some FSR out. Let's do just quality FSR 2. And that bumped us up to the 60 FPS threshold. We're running at 65. Let's look at, at the town. 60. Yeah, this is about where we want to be at. And actual quality itself hasn't suffered much. Now this is really why FSR is important. It, it can it can make an RX 580 a much more viable GPU to play on. Yeah, Get out of here, damn chainsaw guy. But yeah, I am not angry at all about this experience and i bet single player might perform a little worse but really if you turn fsr you should get a pretty good consistent experience oh christ get me out of here run oh my god ooh, ooh, get me out of here die chainsaw man Ooh, ah oh, died anyways you're gonna absolutely have an amazing experience on this game it'll be great so the next game we're going to be playing is Good old teardown. I don't really know why I decided for this game. I mean, it, it, it I guess it makes sense because I've been playing it a bit recently. It's it's fun as hell. It's it's very CPU intensive. 
Hello. So it will stress the CPU quite a bit. Now keep in mind, I am recording, like I said. Holy crap, this is loud. This game is very, very CPU intensive. Um, and keep in mind, I am recording with the CPU. I am encoding with the CPU. So now we are at running at the highest possible settings. So just sitting right here, we're about 72, 66. When you're not doing anything physically, it is a GPU bound game. I can confirm that. Wait, I don't have my, my cheats enabled. Oh no. How am I supposed to properly do this? One second, I'll be, I'll be right back. So let's go on over here. Let's just do something simple for now. Drive to vehicles aren't isn't too intensive. It's just kind of like physics based. So we're gonna break some stuff. Yeah, breaking here. Oh my god, all the physics. But this is this is nothing compared to what I usually do. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna show you a little glimpse of what I usually do. Yeah, my way. One of my favorite things to do is just to grab these indestructible. There, there are indestructible like vehicles like this one, or at least very close to indestructible, and we just just kind of you know drag it around. Oh, it's really starting to chug. Oh, it's really starting to chug. Just drag it around. Just you know, just just destroy this building with it casually. You know. Now you. This is like pretty. Hello. You okay? Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. This is pretty standard, honestly. Like, even on my main system, this game will, will chug. I mean, chug. So it's not the system's fault. It's definitely just the fact that we're doing very huge and expansive stuff that you're not usually doing on the main campaign. Another favorite thing to do is just to use this magnetizer thing. Let's see. Let's do like this, this, this. Maybe that random fan. And then they turn it on. And you'll see them just collide. <laughs> ah, took a nice chunk out of this building, didn't it? Let me out! Well, that was anticlimactic. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the ultimate stress test. Okay, this is like this will bring my computer to like it will freeze the game. So what I like to do is like to do this omni cutter thing. Now let's find a random building that isn't. I'm just gonna chop this building and just gonna do a nice clean, you know, yoink slice. Now, I will chug a little bit when you do slices, but it's not too bad. Now, let's see if I can... Okay. We're going... <laughs> you might be uh, understanding what I'm doing right now. Let's... 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 Let's go over to this building and, and observe. Okay, let's... Let's... Let's do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> they absolutely destroyed each other. It's really better than I thought it would, honestly. Considering, like, how many particles and stuff oh my god that actually ran good anyways i think it's safe to say that this game is tear down and approved and yes you can drive them you can, <laughs> you can drive. <laughs> all right let's let's go into the next game bro let's go to the next game the next game we're going to be trying out is pal world now this is actually a very good test in my opinion because it's one of those new very early access games you know tends to be a bit unoptimized now for the graphics settings i'm using the medium preset now we're just going to try on my own personal worlds no no big servers or anything just to get a gist of general gameplay so we are spawned in and we're running about 40 fps 45 40 to 45 fps looking pretty good no noticeable stutters or slowdowns so far just looking good i will say this is one of those games where you probably wouldn't have many issues running below 60. Um, even controller support is free in this game. So if you want to play a controller, by all means, go ahead. I want to start beating these gummos though. Get out of there. Go get them. Go get them, boy. Yeah. I am noticing some stutter when it comes to the pal doing moves, but I think that's just the shaders loading in because I did recently install drivers. I don't know if you can hear that beat, by the way. Every time I'm running one of those old as like PS2 keyboards that if you put more than a certain amount of inputs, it starts beeping. Like, <laughs> it's very goofy. I don't know how I'm actually playing games with it. Looks like there's some trouble over here with these syndicate thugs. So get them, Relaxosaurus. But yeah, I can't really say much bad about this experience other than the occasional stutter. But it seems like to be, a, like I said, a shader thing. This is how it is with every game. If you reinstall drivers or install new ones, update them, you have to rebuild shaders for the games that you play. So every time you do like an animation or an effect, it has to build shaders for that specific effect. So if you see any, any sort of stutters, it's probably due to that. Go get them. Go get them, Relaxosaurus. Bro just clobbered them. But yeah, this having Power World run in this game is pretty 
nice because it is one of those newer, very, very popular games that will probably get continually updated over time and even become even more popular. So it's one of those games where it's like the system has no, really no issues running it and I'm not angry at this experience at all. No, not me. No, Nightwing. No, no. Anyways, I don't think that this game really gets insanely intensive. The only thing I can think of would be like raids or something, but I don't think you could drop below 30 in most situations. But yeah, this game runs pretty good. Thank you for watching.